Aaron, now that we've reviewed the setup and procedures, can you give us a little advice about utilizing the 890 saw? Absolutely. The first thing that we want to do before we hook up the hydraulics is hook up the water. We want to ensure that there's enough water pressure to provide cooling and lubrication through the guide bar and to the chain. Ideally, one gallon per minute of water flow at 20 PSI. So how would I know if I have enough water pressure? Again, make sure you're not hooked up to your hydraulic power source. With the water attached and the valve open, depress the trigger while pulling the chain off to one side. If water shoots more than one foot out of the guide bar, then you have met the minimum amount of water flow and pressure required. Water is essential to the performance and the life of the guide bar and the chain. A water delivery system has been integrated into the design of all ICS saws. Water is used to cool, lubricate, and clean the guide bar, chain, sprocket, and clean debris in the cut. Okay, so we have our water hooked up and it looks like we're ready to cut. What else can you tell us about hooking the uh, hydraulic supply up? Well, if you're running the ICS power pack and you have not already hooked up to the saw, the hydraulic lines can be looped together to create a complete circuit. At this point, we can start the power pack and circulate the hydraulic oil by selecting one of the GPM settings. This will help warm up the unit and the oil for the optimum performance. If at any time you see oil leaking, do not search for the leak with your hands. Due to the high pressure of the flow, even a pinhole leak can cause severe injury. Once the power pack is warm, we can turn it off and connect it to the saw. One thing to keep in mind is that the fittings should be clean and free of debris. Contaminated fluid can cause internal damage to the saw and to the power source. Now that the saw is hooked up to the power pack, let's turn it on and verify that everything is working properly. Make sure that you are clear of any obstructions prior to starting the saw. All right, Aaron, looks like we're ready to cut. All right, let's get to it. Here's a quick review of the key topics of this chapter. 